Hello everyone and welcome back to our ring studios. Um, in today's episode, we'll be doing um, another concept of a funeral brochure design. Okay, so today we are going to use the size. The weight is going to be um, 10 inches. The height is 8.3 inches. You can go with whatever measurement you want, but I just want to use this for illustration purposes. Okay, so we are going to name it already. We've had it named here. So I'm just going to make it FB Episode 2. Funeral Brochure Episode 2. And then we are going to make sure the art board is checked. Alright, so bear that in mind. Make sure the art board is checked. And this is what we are going to do. Like I explained in the previous episode. Whenever you are doing a funeral brochure or any prints, be the book, magazine, flyers or anything, so far it's going to be printed out, you want to consider allowing some bleed margins. The bleed margin is supposed to accommodate things like cotton. So for instance, when the printout is done and it's supposed to be trimmed, properly trimmed, uh, this it allows that room for it allows room for that so that you don't end up cutting some vital information off it also allows for instance folding if it's a book let me just illustrate that quickly all right so let's add another one here and for illustrating purpose i'm going to drag this here yeah okay let's move let's move it here all right and let's just as you let me just um do a quick one i'll copy and paste all right let's see we have this right here Okay, and then we are going to paste, um, type, paste this. All right, so we have filled it. Let's now change the color to black so we can see, and then probably um, change the paragraph and make it better. You can see the paragraph, you just move over here to window then check if paragraph is on check and then check it so to appear then we'll probably use this let's go back to character the spacing is too much so auto all right even the auto is still too much so what i'm going to do is to probably reduce the size 12 okay let's check it so let's just assume this is what we have here and this is what you are going to print out imagine printing this out and then you have a stack of this hold on let me just turn on my highlighter so imagine i having having a stack of these printed out okay and it's going to be folded in two like an excess book imagine that can you imagine what happened it means that you would have to be looking down to the corner before you can see this you can see this part of the of the work another thing you would also notice is that for instance if um the printout is done and it has to be cut out because um yes you have to cut it out the sheets if you are into print you will understand this the sheets will have to be cut out there's a high probability this part of the work will be cut out because you didn't allow room for margin well bleed margin and so that's the reason why you always want to consider having your bleed margins in place all right and the fact that you are going to allow bleed margin doesn't mean you start from that point. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to also consider moving away from the bleed margin. Guess what? It's the bleed margin is different from the space you allow, uh, the room you allow for your work to breathe or have some comfort. Let's put it that way. So let's delete all of this, all right? And then get back to work. So we are going to delete. Hold on, delete this because we don't need it and delete that because we don't need it and we are going to start work. So we are going to start with the, trying to create the the bleed margins. Let's say okay and then we are going to change this. If yours is also in PX like mine is, you want to change it, just type MM and it will move from pixels to millimeters. So let's do this and want, I want 5 millimeters that's it hit enter and then change this as well to 5 mm hit enter 
and you have this all right now if you don't have this showing this grid here this rule guideline here what you want to do is to press and hold on the uh, uh, control button and then hit the r key to either deactivate or activate like i've just done all right let's hit vein to activate the move to let's zoom in move to the corner and then see if this would align properly so this is 5 mm 5 mm right so we are going to use that to create the bleed margins that that's the cheat code i found it's easy sort of using your eye to gauge if well am i moving okay this is five pixels and all that okay yes i just noticed something let's do this undo now you'd also want to check this so come over here right click then you see it's set to pixels so you can set it to millimeters right so select that and so that when you move it will move to show you the dimensions in millimeters all right so this nine point this is 11.1 millimeters and that's not what we're looking for we want five so you don't have to be scrubbing to find it that's the essence of drawing or creating the shape all right so we do that and then we would hit z to bring our zoom to zoom out move away hit vein to bring the move to move this here and then z to bring out to zoom in back all right so now how do i know it's set to the corner you would know by the see there's this pinkish line that is telling you that okay this is hit hitting the corner and if you want to see that or edit that maybe the pink or magenta is not working for you just move over to image sorry edit preference and then there you have it guides grid and slices so this is it it will pop out then you have the smart guides so that there is a smart guys that is telling you that your line or the, the 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 shape you are drawing is hitting the edge or is hitting the exact axis it should be um yes that's basically that's the the simplest way i can put it all right so um that's it so you can also custom the color so let's see let's set this to red and see what happens you know so you see realize that the now the smart guides is now red let's move back edit preferences and then we move to guides and change it to let's say um let's say yellow all right or let's go for royal blue okay so you see now the line is blue okay so you can edit that you can even use a custom color so guides and then edit that so let's keep it let's keep it um green all right this no let's keep it magenta okay so that's fine um so okay that's about that so let's move this here all right so i can have it done easily and quickly so move and then do that do this and do that so this is supposed to be your your um, bleed margin you can also add another one for your spacing maybe this time you can do that using maybe 3 mm maybe just maybe so let's move this all right i want to create another one so let's zoom in and then yeah so now we want to change this to let's say uh three right so let's say three mm and so hit you to bring out the shape tool so you can edit that let's hit this to lock these two sides all right let's hit three enter nice three okay so this is what we have as uh, three three same thing all right hmm. okay so let's not lock it let's take it out three and three all right so that's fine zoom in a little yeah so you want to now do same as we did for the other one right 
zoom out so now this is your bleed and this is the spacing you're allowing at before the edge so this is it imagine this this whole side will be cut off when you are cutting or trimming the paper right and then this space will now be the space from the edge to when the work begins i hope this makes sense let's move so let's move this here and bear in mind you're supposed to be doing this for all the pages all the pages so hit and hit okay so now we don't need this anymore so we can delete it and then step back z zoom out zoom out right, so this is what we have Now, what we want to do, like in today's tutorial, like you've seen, I don't want to go back there, so we want to take it step by step, see if we can do it as easy as possible. Now, the cover of every brochure or magazine is probably the most important thing. It's the first thing that gets the eye of the viewer or the one having it. It's, it has to catch the eye of the audience, okay? And so if the diseased person, in this case, we are dealing with a funeral brochure. So if the diseased person doesn't have a very quality picture to use, a very nice picture to use, you'd want to advise your client or whoever you're working for to stay away from it and allow you to do a simple cover design without their picture so that it look good. Now, if the picture is not good, the work won't be good it could only be as good as you can edit the picture and that's a lot of work we don't want to go into that so advise them to stay away from using the picture as the cover if they insist the client is always right work on that and edit the picture to get the best possible out outcome as you can okay so now in this case we want to work with without the image i mean last week we worked with a Dark team. So this week, or in this episode, we are going to work with um, a white theme, right? So this is what we are going to write out. Hit OK, and um, we have a color uh, swatch we've already created, color palette we've already created. I'm going to drag and drop it here. Then we we'll use. All right, so these are the colors we are going to use. And so let me hit this. Then we are going to use this to make it all uppercase. All right, then I am going to use the font size, let's say 16. And then I'm going to, um, let me set this to centered. All right, and then hit this and that to align thing to bring out the move to, so we can have this alignment options then hit to center that to the page all right and i'm going to use this to increase the spacing or yes between the letters individual letters all right so like this then i'm going to hit this one here to pick a color and this is the color we are working with all right so let's hit this and take that now the next thing i'm going to do is to duplicate this because i now want to write the or type out the year of birth and the year of death below here so the name will be somewhere here all right uh, let me do a simple illustration here all right so what we are trying to do okay let me use uh, this right here so what we are trying to do is to put um the name somewhere here all right the name of the disease yes and then we'll put the year of birth and death somewhere here and we have another information up here all right 
so this is the format we want to use we'll probably divide it this way so there will be the age here so if the person is like 96 be here then the we'll probably write the word yes here all right all right and then we'll put the names here so uh, let's see um, yeah so let's say the name is Roland or whatever it is we write here first name middle name surname and then the uh, aka all right that will be here so that's the format we want to follow and these are the uh, color scheme we want to use so we are sticking to this so let's delete this all right we don't need it okay so now let's move on let's do that again select everything Control t to bring our transform and let's reduce it all right so i think this is cool yeah this is supposed to be okay all right so now we are going to i'm going to change this one all right this particular shape to here i'm going to pick this color then i'm going to add the year like we mentioned remember we said we we're going to Put the year let me drag this up here we're going to put the year here and then let's see the figure here 99 and then the years here so let's turn this off uh let's delete this all right so so 99 and in i mean 96 and today we are going to just stick with um this font here which is montserrat all right i'm going to keep it as simple as possible okay let's even reduce the spacing to less negative 75 that's fine change this to white let's increase this Control t to bring our transform let's take it down here oh, we are seeing the picture now all right then let's type out the years like we mentioned The 96 was bold, so let's just make this regular. All right, and then it's white, that's why you're not seeing. Just press and hold the control key and just drag, it will come. All right, all right, so that's fine. If you can't see, for instance, if you can't see what you just typed, control Z. All right, if you can't see what you type, control T to bring a transfer, then you see where it is, then you can now drag and drop it where you want it. Then let's expand it anyway because we wanted to do that. All right, this is fine. We are going to use regular for this, and then we are going to use zero spacing. This is fine. Now the name. So let's duplicate this. Control J to duplicate. Let's take it up here. Let's type out the name. So let's see Roland. Let's make it Roland, so it's no one's name. All right. Now with this, we are going to pick this color, All right? Like this. Excuse me. And then let's duplicate this. Control J, drop it down here. Hello guys, there's great news. So this file you are seeing, the file to this project we are working on right now, is available at a very small toolkit. And guess what? It's not just this, but there are two others. So it's actually three in one package. And it's available at a very small toolkit. Just grab it and support this channel with it. It will go a long way to keep us running, keep us active, and keep us afloat. Thank you for grabbing it and see you in another episode but before then finish this video enjoy it and it will bless you so what i'm basically doing is i'm highlighting these two all right because i have the move to activate it these alignment options will come up and i'm using that to center 
vertical center, horizontal, I mean vertical centering and horizontal centering. Right. Yeah, I've done all of that. So I now want to select all of this, which is the text. And then align to left like this. Now I can move it somewhere here. A little away like this. And this is cool. Now you can choose to leave it like this because now this is I'm using the regular, right? The Montserrat regular. I can you can choose to select all of that like this leaving out this okay and then move it from regular to let's say bold so that the name stands out from this one here this one is bold this is bold light regular regular basically that's that's what we are trying to do now um let's make a little room for this so let's select this Control t to bring up transform I'm holding the shift key down and taking this up. All right. I'm going to select this control T to bring a transform. I'm taking this up. All right. Good. So now let's recenter them. So once again, I'm going to select this. See how I'm doing it. I'm highlighting this. Then I'm going to center vertical center, horizontal center. Same here. Vertical center, horizontal center. All right. That's fine. So there we go. Yeah, that's what we have here. Now we can put all of this in the group. Okay, so just in case we want to be sure it's centered. So control J to put in the group. And then we are going to select this and the artboard itself. All right. And then we are going to hit center, vertical center to make sure it's centered. Horizontal for center to make sure it's centered. Now that we know this is centered this way we can now adjust these as well see this way okay that's fine now let's drop this let's drop this all right if you want to be sure about the spacing just pick the shape tool draw a shape here all right like this let's zoom in let's make sure of this all right so now we are sure it's hitting ends to end this is what we have here so we drop this all right we know it's hitting end to end so it means this is further down just push it up and we know we have everything centered. So now let's go back. So the spacing is uniform. The space here, same as here, same as there, same as there, same as here. Everything is now perfect. So now we can delete this guide we did. Right? You don't need it. And then we can delete this. You don't need it. These three, we am going to I'm going to leave them here because we'll be using them to pick the colors as we go along. I am going to select this for another purpose all right so what we are going to do is just select this control j to duplicate take it out of the group control j to group j for joshua j for group good so this right here is what we are going to use let me turn this off so this right here is what we are going to use to create the next thing I'm talking about. And when we get there, you know. Let's keep this as it is. Let's rename this and call it the front cover. All right, hit enter, front cover. Name your documents so that you can have easy access to them. Now let's hit this one, All right? Zoom in so we can see. If you want to create another artboard, right, just make sure you have the move to selected and then hit this one, the text here. Just click on that. See, it gives you the plus signs on every side. The next page we are going to create, we want to create it here. So 
so that the cover page is isolated from all other pages all right so we are going to have another page here and then the last page will come as we go home you see what what i'm trying to uh, demonstrate all right let's rename this and call it page one page one all right um capital p good so with the page one what we are going to do sorry about this page one what we are going to do is to create um, a photo collage of the diseased maybe a timeline of of his lifetime a timeline of his lifetime we are trying to use the images or pictures of his lifetime when he was a baby to when he grew up and then died all of that we are going to keep all of that here just as an introduction to everything because first page we didn't see his face so the next one should be something that gets people to go through it have time wonder what's happening there engage them so this page is supposed to help you get the viewer engaged in what you are doing all right all right so this is what we have here okay so this is the group i have here all right for the images now these pictures are uh, individual pictures i've put together together sorry and like you can see i don't know if you can pay attention to the tickets here so currently we have 288 megabytes all right what we can do is to convert this to a smart object so convert to a smart object and immediately we do that it becomes one layer no longer a, a, a stack of layers right and that reduces it from 288 to 181 so that is over 100 megabytes lost or reduced on the on the work here all right so let's let's try that to reduce the burden on the, the device we are using all right and the good thing about converting it to a smart object is that you can always always go back to it so when i double click here it takes me back there all right set it to 100 all right and every change i make will be affected there so for instance let me just shift this one here Control s to save then i'm going back there you run the shifts all right so that's that let's go back undo Control z and then control s to save then go back and we have this restored all right the next thing we can do i really want to make this um not too colorful like this all right i want to make it a little subtle so to do that i'm either going to use this the blend modes and change the blend mode to luminosity or i'll probably also undo i mean yes make it normal and like as it, as it was and then move over to image adjustments and then adjust image uh, apply this black and white adjustment to that layer and then it's still the same all right but with this you have much more control you could tell let me cancel this and we'll go back pay attention to this this is magenta right more of magenta and yellow so let's zoom in to this particular image here and pay attention to this all right let's move it here so we can see clearly and now let's move to image adjustments black and white everything becomes black and white but remember the background was magenta right so let's adjust the magenta ah so there you go there you have it there you have it Remember the dress was yellow, right? So let's just adjust the yellows. Mm, kick out the yellow entirely. There you go. Right. You can also adjust it this way. Or that way. Anyhow. Alright. And uh, remember there were some reds, so we can adjust the reds too. Ah, there you go. So 
this layer adjustment uh, effect you add to it gives you the chance to manipulate it or adjust some of the settings as you want there are some presets here <clears throat> there's the blue filter there's the darker i mean these are all options you can go for all of this red filter and all of that so these are settings you can go for maximum black maximum white depending on the image you're working on so then default back to default setting all right so this is one way of going about it aside using the blend modes the blend modes is not ideal in certain cases because it's a blend mode so it will blend into any other background or any other image that is below it would we'll explain in another video let's move on all right so with this i think it's still too loud i want it a little subtle so let's reduce the opacity here like this all right i think 85 should be okay all right so 85 is cool then remember we mentioned this right so we are going back there now let's pick this and drop here let's turn it on all right it could look this good if you wanted i mean yes we can reduce it further and just have this and it looks good honestly it does look good maybe for another purpose we'll try it or you can try it for another purpose but this looks good right um so i would move it back to um 85 later i mean the opacity of this layer i'll move it back to 85 later keep that in mind so this is what we are going to do All right we are going to select this move in, move over to the group then select all the shapes control press and hold control and hit the e key and it will merge all of this into one layer all right it just selected one of the colors which was the one here undo right which is the one on top right so we selected the layer on top and use that color all right so if we switched it will be the same so let's just try for trying sake we are switching and then we are making this um let's see uh yes let's make it this color right now it is here it's the one on top so when i select all of this uh, my hand is on shift and i'm hitting the last one so all of be selected at once control press and hold control hit the key e see so it picks the color on top that's basically it and all becomes one shape because you imagine shapes right so you can edit it anytime with any color you want all right so that's about that for now let's make it black okay hit okay now the next thing is we want to select all the text uh no when you merge them it doesn't become text okay all like the shapes when you merge all the text it doesn't become one text that's not possible is it? so um what you want to do is once again control and then hit e then becomes one layer all right so with this done we want to now apply a layer max to this one this shape here we want to apply a layer max to that so select this and then hit this apply layer max now you want to press and hold the control key all right take your mouse follow the mouse follow the mouse take your mouse here you see there's this box follow the mouse once again my hand is still on the control button see the cursor once i take it to this thing there's something that's going to happen so it becomes the hand but when i move it to the thumbnail which is this one there's a box below the hand it's going to create selection that is what it means so you hit click once then the selection done now let's turn this off by clicking the eyeball here and then activate the brush tool the brush tool the shortcut key is b all right and then um increase the size of the brush using the either the using the open sorry the close square bracket if you want to reduce is the open square bracket all right and then we want to set opacity flow perfect now let's set the hardness to hard right let's use a hard brush then we can clean so there you go all right 
so this is what we've actually done what we've done is to cut out the layer here all right we cut the this layer out of this layer we just cut this layer out of this layer or we maxed this layer out of this layer so now let's um, take out the filter so you see all right so you realize that we can see the images below now let's take it back to the 85 you see so that's basically now let's undo 30 keep it at 30 for now all right so that's the essence now with this thing here it means that wherever the mask goes the layer goes so when i move this it follows along right it's following along guess what when i click this to deactivate the link which i have just done when i move this it goes without uh, it goes and leaves the masking out where it is it doesn't go with the mask out all right same applies to the mask out when i select this now pay attention there's a highlight box around this thumbnail when i click this the highlight box moves there guess you saw that now with that selected i can move the masking out all right guess you can see all right so that is the essence of the link here but if you needed to move one aside the other then that's the option for you so let's click this to link the two all right so we are cool let's delete this because we no longer have use for this all right not use for this so let's delete it cool now let's set this back to the black and white and then move this to 85 like we had before 85 and then we are going to change this color here to white All right so change this to white ctrl t to bring our transform they are linked together so they will be reduced together All right then we move it here okay so enter all right so there we go bear in mind just like we did here just like we did for the front cover with the guidelines we should do same for this do you get it so we are supposed to do the same for this if that is so then where this is it's not right it has to move further away that is why you need to always create the margins so it will guide you so we are going to do that right now so hit this okay i'm going to change it from um this to that so 5 mm by 5 mm all right hit enter so we have a uh, 5 mm by 5 mm that is supposed to give us the the bleed margin all right so let's take it here zoom in take it up and then we are going to drag and drop we know it's settled because it snaps at the end all right so we are done with that so we don't we no longer need a shape here so now we know where to place our image properly place it and that will be here all right perfect so yeah we're done with this page page one is done and dusted let's zoom out all right select this number here let's zoom in use the move tool to hit this which is the right up here and it gives you the option to add another page so we are going to add page two quickly and we'll rush this out all right all right so now let's rename this to page two as usual page two and then we are going to set the bleed margins quickly and we'll be back all right so we have our margin set let me double cut check before uh -huh. 
all right so we have our margin set and so we are moving on to the second page which is page two and in page two what we are going to do or what you usually do for page two is to kind of give a brief announcement on that same page you can have things like uh, if there's the need for donations and contributions to support you can put those things there you know so there's going to be a thanksgiving service the, if there's going to be one where is it going to happen it's going to be if he's going to be buried where is he going to be buried and what's the time venue time so these are the kind of information you want to put there so let's drop our image and work quickly with that so let's go back to our page here pick this image here that is what i would want to use so let's drop it here all right it's a small image but we're going to manage it all right increase yeah so this is fine all right and then um let's uh draw a shape like i mentioned in the previous tutorial you can use that you that you can either use the solid color which is this or you can draw a shape all right you can use the shape tool to draw a shape over the entire canvas and that will still work so let's take it below and change the color to black i will do a quick illustration but before then let's just finish with this so with this we want to also apply a layer mask which is this and so that we can erase the sharp ends to this right we want to blend it into the background and to do this we need a soft brush this time around so let's select a soft brush and probably reduce the opacity a little so it will be gentle something like this and uh, with this done we, were going to, we are now going to select or write out the name it's, it's supposed to be the information page nothing more nothing less all right so i am going to quickly drop in the information okay and then i will explain some few things so hang on let's skip and get back to it all right so yeah back here that was quick so we are here and this is what we've we've done right so basically like i was saying this this page is necessary for um passing out some few information it's more like the announcement page let me call it that way so um the person's name the usual then the some information is like the burial service funeral rights internment uh, thanksgiving service and I mentioned previously that I wanted to stick with one font, which is Montserrat. But there's this one here. This one you added just to probably just spice things up a little. You don't necessarily need it. But if you have to, you can drop it there. And then there is more we can add to it. So I've dropped it here, right? So I will soon turn it on after I have done some few experiments with you. The first thing I'm going to do is try as much as possible to play along with this. Remember we mentioned that this one wanted to keep um, a white theme, so white or black. This explains it. This picture here had a black background, so if you want to speed up your work and you don't want to do a lot of cut and paste and cropping out and all of that, what you want to do is to just work with the background. That's the easy way. So uh, let's turn this off. If I'm supposed to turn this off, you realize that the background is um, black, kind of. So I just added the black here to complete it and I didn't have to do much. That's about that. All I had to do was to blend the body into the background, right? So that doesn't have the sharp edge like we just saw. But if you had to edit this, it's simple. Let me do a quick one. All you have to do is to crop this image out, drop it in the background you want, and add some effects. Sprinkle some effects and you are done. So let's select this, all right? The easiest and fastest way to go about it is to move to select up here, and then select subject, all right? Photoshop would select the image for you. This is not perfect because we are rushing it out. But before then, let me just duplicate this, these two layers, all right? Turn these two off. We are going to play with this one. So let's now do the selection we did. Select, select subject. 
and then it's going to try to select the subject all right so this is what we are going to do um move over back here to select and invert the selection this is why we are doing that the selection is selecting the face we want to erase the background around the face so we are going to invert the selection and that's what has just happened all right so i hope i'm right with this one maybe it actually did the opposite so what you're going to do is to press and hold the alt key and then hit the backspace to delete the background yes the background is gone because you realize that that's it all right it's not perfect we we are trying to do something so if you had to you use the pen tool there are several videos on this channel that uh, focuses on the pen tool you can watch any of them now let's bring this back right Control d to remove the selection okay and then let's edit this so let's pick any color at all so we could actually work with any color at all any color of our choice any color at all we could also work with the white if we wanted to that is if we had done a very good selection this won't look good here so let's just go for something of this kind all right and then drop our info here that's it so you see you can just work with anything i just illustrated the fact that you can dodge all or skip all these processes if you just blend um the background of the image you have here into another background and avoid this cropping and all of that we can also match up colors here so let's see uh, we have this here we can also try match up colors make it colorful it's a funeral brush shadow but that doesn't stop you from trying to make things colorful if you had to all right then change this to that color yeah so this is this is one one way of going about it let's just undo everything all right yes and then let's close this and revert to our default setting which is this right here this is our default setting all right so i'm now going to activate this so we can see what's happening there so this is what we wanted to add there's a the scan so this is some extra information you can add if it's available if others want to donate towards the event you know so all this information can be added to this page you know so this is something small you can add and then those who scan this can have access to the document on their phone that that is the whole essence okay so this page can be dedicated to things like that now let's move on to the next page let's drive on to the next page Alright, so to do that, we are going to select this. Alright, just hit use the move tool, click on this, then it activates the add page here. So you can click on this to add another page down there, and that's going to be page three. So let's rename it quickly so we can have things sorted out easily. On this page, what we are going to do, what this page will be meant for, is to announce or display the people who are going to take charge of key events at the program so people like the uh, officiating ministers the song ministers or music ministers the music the master of ceremony the stewards and so on and so forth all of them will be here and i would do that in the haste so that we don't take too much time i will just drop them and then explain all right so this is what we have here uh, let me now explain so um, like I mentioned, we want to stick to simple fonts. So uh, these are the things we have here. We just put dummy names there. And you remember this particular one here, all right? So this is um, what we put here. Let me go back. Let's reduce this so we can have a look at it. All right, so this is what we have here and we just drop it. 
Now, what I want you to bear in mind is that we want to maintain consistency. All right. So you notice that this is bigger than this. It shouldn't be so. It should all be of the same size. Consistency. And so to do that, if you are not sure about that, you don't have to always pick and you know create another one. All you have to do is to go back to the previous page, pick, drop, and it will align at the exact same spot. Let me demonstrate. So we have this here, right? So we have our bleed lines and everything, margin lines set perfectly. So we will now move to page one. All right, and select this, which is the image we are looking at. Highlight it or select it. Press and hold the Alt key, drag and drop in page three. And it will fall exactly at the, sorry, it will fall exactly at the same place as this is. Now, to demonstrate that I have not done the bleed lines yet. So we'll demonstrate that by going on with the blue lines in this particular page to see if it indeed falls at the same place let's check it so first of all let's move back to page three all right so this is what we just dropped so i'm going to make that red so we can distinguish all right now let's zoom in okay so this is what we have here okay now bear in mind i have not done anything around um, bleed margins and all of that so everything here is fully in its own freestyle we have to be consistent so we let's select this all right be here then we are going to draw a shape okay so let's draw this shape here like we've done previously and we are going to edit this make it 5 mm and 5 mm hit enter okay we are now going to duplicate it to create the 3 mm right so let's duplicate it to create a 3 mm all right so now we are done with this we don't know we no longer need it so we can delete Alright, so let's zoom out and check it out. So exactly my point, you can tell that it's on exact same spot as the previous one and this is way away from it, so inconsistent. So we are going to select this one which is wrong and delete it, All right? And then we can change this back to black. So let's make it black. All right. Now with this done, we can now align all other things to meet or match what we have here. So let's select this. Another thing you can do is this. All right. You realize that the space here is not allowing us to have a proper alignment, right? So you have to create it. Do this edit all of this okay like this okay now let's assume um, there is an R here an R there another R here okay now, the reason why I added those is to teach you or to let illustrate how you can do spell check with Photoshop. So with this, right, whilst you are in here, your text tool, you are in there, you have, you've engaged the text. What you can do is to right click, scroll down to check spelling. All right. Now that would help the software. That would make the software suggest some correct spellings. Now, so the word is this and this is not in the dictionary so this is a, a suggested correction to be made all right if this is correct for you there's the likelihood that you did you did some copy and paste all right so the error was repeated so it will be scattered around the whole item or the whole document you can choose to change one so change 
just change and then this alone will change so change you see that then the next error will be highlighted or you can choose to apply change all and every other thing that had that same spelling will change all now let's pay attention to this one let me zoom in okay no, let, let's keep it as it is so look at this all right pay attention to this a r i c h then there's the a r i c h a r i c h all right so there's about three of them here so what we are going to do is either a rich is it a rich or is it arch all right so you can go through and then you to give you suggestions which one were you looking at i was actually looking at this so i'm going to select this all right and it's going to be shown here now once i hit change all everything here would be corrected so hit change all you realize that all of that has changed then there's the asamoas right so if we wanted to correct that one too there's somewhere somewhere whatever the word is or oh, there are other options here if that's what you ask him of if this is what you wanted select this all right you can once again choose to change one or change all you understand you can change one or change all so let me click on change or then order some ways will change to this that's our that all right so that is how it is done let's hit on done and we move away from this illustration okay so this is what we have so now with this done what it means that this maps up to this this maps up to that then we can now drop these ones so we can allow some space so let's drop this all right so now your document looks ordered looks clean all right so that's about that now let's zoom out okay so this is it with page three now we are moving on to the next page okay now to do that let's once again activate the move to click this text here and click this to add what are we going to do now we are now going to take a look at the order of service and to do that again again i want this to sink down very well touch on the bleed margins before you commence so with this page, like I mentioned, we want to um, put informations like the order of service, right? So once again, because it's text-based and it's not necessarily going to need any typing or all the, any design, I'm going to skip and then you catch me up on the next side. So let's do a quick one. All right, so this is what we have. So order of service, you just line the things up. If you have another beautiful picture of the disease, you just put it here. In our case, we don't have any other options. So we just pick the same image we have here, dropped it here. Then we just change the blend mode. Remember the class we're working with, we're working with this. And we just change the blend mode from normal to luminosity. All right, so just that change the opacity and you have something nice. Once again, bear in mind, we want to be consistent with this right here, with this right here. So once again, we have to pick this and drop it there. And to do that, we can just move over to the previous page. This is supposed to be page four, right? So let's rename it. All right, so we move over to the previous page, like page three where i'm sure it is let's close this to page four and um i think this is it so we hold press and hold the alt key drag and then drop it and there you have it there it is all right so you have it right here and uh now that's here you can adjust these layers here to allow room so this is what we have 
simple keep it simple clean maintain consistency and then use the same font all right so um let's now move to the next thing and that is where you'd want to probably pay a little attention the rest is just a repetition of work all right so maybe we'll just do one or two more pages we do that back page and then we are done so let's move back here all right so i just did a duplicate i don't need this so let's just move back here let's zoom out all right select this and add another page let's close page four all right let's close page three as well then just add another page then we will call this page five so so if you have a thousand pages go that way if you have a thousand page pages there's a better software to use to create that and that will be in design <clears throat> excuse me that will be adobe in design this is how to use photoshop to achieve something close to that all right so let's move into that now on this page we would call this um let's 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 call this the the page for the biography all right so we are going to pick a picture drop the picture add some text to that so to do that i have this right here right so i have this right here uh, so i have this image here and this is not the best way to go about it there's a better way of going about it which would be another day a topic for another day in another tutorial so this were the images we have here just merged his face to this picture and we have this all right we have this so let's just pick and drop so let's pick this two, all right, and then move it back to our page, back to our page here, all right, and probably just merge them at once so they become one image, okay. And this is where we want to now drop this one here. Bear in mind, you will need two work on the um on the margins right the page borders and all of that okay so let's do this quickly i have a lot to cut out wait yes okay so with this here we want to now do a little more cover this uh, we don't need all of that all right so the page should be white like this then i'm going to drop my text then i'll be back with you so hold on a sec with me so this is the format we want to go with when it comes to the biography and the tribute all right so there's the picture here which we'll reveal very soon and then there's this one bear in mind you want to always keep things in line so this should move inward a little bit more all right and these two should also come outside a little bit more so always try to keep things in line as much as possible all right so let's drop this here all right so we have biography of daddy bosco most often than not there is the quote area so we want to create a quote area it's a rash work so i didn't type it out correctly but you get the concept we are trying to drive at which is this all right so you have the quote area which is probably a scripture or something he said whilst he was alive then there is the then there is the text itself or the message itself what he what is that written about him all right so if there is more emphasis on if if there is more then you will create another page this time probably without a picture just the text and maybe you have to 
create them in columns let me just do something here so let's create a layer i don't want us to take too much time so brush to let's reduce the size of the brush all right now let me turn this off let's assume we're on a new page all right let's reduce the size of the brush and then turn everything off let's turn, turn everything off perfect so now let's move out all right so if we were to have a new page All right, so all right, so if we were to have a new page, all right, so this is what we'll do. We would um, bear in mind the bleed margins. We have to create them. So this is just imaginary. All right, so let's move for the sake of sake of time. All right, this can move here. So let's move. This is not centered. All right, it has to be center of the page. Which is this okay so now that we have this this is supposed to be this is how it's supposed to look like maybe so you want to have the text here all right you want to create one here and then mm, paste let's do a paste and see if i have some text okay so i don't have text here so let's now move over here uh, type and paste this uh, that's too chunky obviously so we are going to drop it down to 10 uh we are going to select regular all right if there's another quotation like previously you do same and then what else spacing is too much so we want to maybe keep it at 14 all right so let's drop this like this and then copy all of this copy paste all right like so then control j to duplicate then we take this here all right so we can have it like that on the other on the next page and if there are things you want to add you can add script fonts like we did uh like yeah we did something like that here we just turned it off so you can add a script font somewhere here um put the decorations we did which is let me see these things you know you put them somewhere here tributes let me move them and then undo you move them here even before the text begins tributes of a b c and then you add the quotation down here all right so that's how you want to approach it if you didn't have if you had more content to apply now let's take this off now let's take this off and then move back to what we had so we are going to turn everything on all right everything should come back on like this so this is how the page is going to look like uh, yes so this is supposed to be here so with this template set all right with this template set you can duplicate this layer this whole page this whole page can be duplicated so what you want to do is control j and it will move it here to the other side all right then you would have to rename it to page six okay and with that you want to obviously it's not biography anymore but if the biography continues that's how you're going to do copy paste biography continues you are gone all right, so with this, we are going to obviously probably do tribute by wife, tribute by children, tribute by A, B, C. I mentioned I want to do two more pages, then we'll wrap up, all right? So this is kind of the format to follow, all right? If it's tribute by the children, you want to go by the same format. So children, we need an image for that. So we would go back to our folder here and then pick one of our images which would 
probably be the most appropriate, which is probably this. All right. Then we'll drop it here. Um, let's zoom in or expand the image. All right. Like this. This is fine. It's not the best. The image, the face of the kids should show, but let's just run with this. All right. And then choose by children. So let's move on to this. Quickly type out the words tribute. Bye. And then the next page will be children. Okay, so tribute by children. Start off with the same thing. Move on. Just to add something more to it. I mean, it's a new thing we want to suggest. All right. So there's always the RIP. There's always the um, if it's Ghana, there's the Daye and all of that. Okay. So maybe the words end here. Okay. There were more there. So let's do it. There's still more. All right, so with this, then you would probably have the rest in peace and all of that. So, you know, okay, so over here, you would probably want to use a script font if you want to. If not, we can stick to this just like this, uh, right? And then probably change the color or change the font face. So, this is regular. Then we make this extra bold, all right? then we probably can increase the size like so all right and then change the color to probably uh 50 percent gray all right let's reduce the size a little all right this should be okay that's if you wanted to stick to this all right but then you can go for this right here and then change it this way then you can increase the font size drop it here we have this beautiful thing down all right so this is another way to go about it so this is for the tributes bear in mind you can do anything that works for you all right so let's try a little cover the side okay so we can delete this one and then let's zoom out and see how it looks like all right so that's how it looks like and uh, if you have noticed i'm just taking it one one step at the other from here we need add things like this but in this page we added it all right so this is how it looks and with this you can go on and on and on with the tributes and all of that so the next thing we probably want to add is the hymnals okay that's simple to do that we would want to uh, come over here select this add another page like this and then that will be for the hymnals okay so with the hymnals uh, we want to keep uh, this color here we want to use the dark brown or probably just probably want to stick with the white team so let's go for the brown okay so we are working with three colors here so let's go for the dark brown we had here all right so i'm going to change the color from this to that and then let's go back and see how it looks yeah like this let's zoom in and to help us do a quick work on the let's change the name first page seven i guess and to help us do a quick um the margins and all of that i'm going to select this no not that uh, let's see this i think it's five yes and i'm going to try to align the things to match no. so back to this it goes off but i can use this right to match so this will help that's a quick one all right 
and then we also have this right here to help let's be sure if that is correct let's see uh, that is not correct so should be something of this sort all right now let's move quickly so this is just a rush we take your time and do it so again if we want to be sure we just know what to do we pick this young man here press and hold the control key drag and drop and then we know it's aligned all right so let's drop this here <coughs> and then we are left with the last one which is this so we can drag this and it's supposed to be like 8 mm because it's 5 plus 3 so zoom in and then drag so you can have a better control all right yeah so that's it all right so this is that's okay right? yeah yeah so that's fine now that we have this we can just drop an image like a candle somewhere here like we did in another uh, episode or we can put um the bible somewhere here anything that depicts the church or makes it look solemn and all of that so let's just pick an image and drop i'll be back right now all right so before even before we do we do that we would also want to pay attention to the photo galleries and i have my elements here so i'm going to drop them one after the other and explain now if you had an image of the man in this format clean simple so now this become the intro to the photo gallery a big picture of him in this way something nicer something much much more classy classier would do a very good job so you put it in there bear in mind bear in mind let me do this don't forget your margins i can't help but repeat it and then you can now drop um this here something like that because this is a constant it's supposed to be on every page all right so we have this this now be, be, becomes the intro to the photo gallery there are some effects here let me just go in there which is camera raw filter that i added to it so let me take turn it off so this is the before then after the camera raw filter so let me go in there so we can have a look all right so this where the things are adjusted i adjusted the clarity all right took out some vibrance and saturations to get it black and white as you see it it's not too black and white but it's okay shadows went down and all of that so that's fine let's go back so now this becomes like the intro to the photo gallery then when you move on there's the photo gallery all right so the photo gallery can be in uh categories let's say photo a photo gallery for the man himself photo gallery for his children his relatives and all of that any picture that is available that can be put in groups you do that if they are not available in groups and they have just been given to you like that then do this just drop them like this and you are good and you are good to go so this now becomes it i told you we are going to make good use of this we had it in page one so we just repeated it here because we don't have other pictures to work with but if you had you could use that so now we are just going to add some text here and that would be good for us so let's just put the photo gallery text here and that'll be fine all right so there we go uh with the text in there it looks more official kind of more official right so we have this here then there's this as usual then we would move to the next page which is the hymnals then i'll do some explanations there all right since it's more like a repetitive thing a re uh, yes a repetitive thing uh, i don't want to add much time to it so we will go down here then i'll activate this one okay so if you watched the previous episode you would know that this is not strange right there's no new <coughs> sorry so create a page for the hymnals make room for anything you want something like this 
arrange your hymnals as they are drop this and it's a constant see you want to stick to the colors you have all right so that's the reason for this we are trying to keep some some level of consistency the last thing we are going to do that's going to be the back page the back page is such that you want to make it bold it's either you are making it bold with with something or you are just making it blank with nothing or you can go middle this time i want to go very bold i know if i'm getting you confused so you want to make a statement with the back page if you want to that's if you want to if you want to really make a statement with the back page you should i think this is not properly balanced so you can make sure try and make sure everything is balanced here anyway like i was saying if you want to make a statement with your back page you should why not you should so now this becomes the back page right there is also the appreciation page page and all of that if you wanted to do that why not you could let's try and do the appreciation page first then we do the back page so with that as well i'm going to do a quick one then i'll explain i think so far i've taken much of your time so i just want to run through the things so this will probably be page 10 yeah page 10 remember to always name the document all right so this is what we have for the appreciation page so basically i just dropped this image here which is this particular one let me close this so that we don't have a, a, a busy page so we just drop this image here reduce the opacity change the blend mode to luminous so it's actually this a bright all right let's move back so this is the image this can work trust me this can work all right so if you were going with this you could probably pick this all right and then you just chain these ones to brown all right or the white works better okay then probably you just um give this one a bigger um family just bold like this okay it could work or better still we could change this from gold to brown and it still works All right so this can work like i mentioned if you want to have this look why not i mean it works either way it works so it's just like an appreciation page and you are done all right so this is it or we can revert to what we had before change all of this to black all right this works also then you can change the blend mode for this to luminous it works also then you can also change this to 30 or whichever figure that best suits the image so we are just reducing the opacity and this is perfect for the uh, the appreciation page it's okay the last thing and we are out of here is this add the back cover we did a front cover we are going to do a back cover so to do the back cover we are just going to draw a shape here right bold very bold one and then we are going to go for maybe we should go for yellow because the front was, oh, the front was white so let's go for this instead of the yellow All right this will work much better then we are just going to type out the name just make sure you lock this because of the shape All right we just drew a shape if you don't want the stress you can delete this then you instead of drawing a shape you can go for a solid color and then you just pick this color and that's fine yes right so that will give you that challenge so the name is Roland all right Roland Chuku 
Let me just check if I'm recording. Yes, I am. So the name is Roland Chuku uh, Asari, right? Perfect. So now we are going to use this to make all uppercase. Let's increase the size. I want to take over the entire page. All right. So now let's reduce this or change it to uh, this is 681, so maybe 72 will work. Yeah, to work. So we are now going to try and increase it further like this. I like that. All right. That's fine. And then maybe we'll just change some colors here. Make this yellow. Keep the chuku white. This yellow. Or the back page. All right. Uh, if this is too much in your face, you can just change it from bold to semi bold. Like this. And it works. Then we would want to reduce this. It's too big. It's just too big. Right. Alright. Then we can now increase the spacing a little bit more. Like this. We are just making sure we cover the entire page that's all we are trying to do so we are going back to the front cover and then this group we had here we want to just duplicate it so control my hand is on the alt key i'm going to drag and then drop it here all right this is supposed to be the back page so so back cover All right. Now, um, let's correct this. All right. So with this, we know the shapes we have here. Right. So we just can combine all the shapes. Oh, let me try this and see. Would the yellow work? Ah, nah. Let's let's just make everything one. All right, so select all, control E to merge the layers. Then we can select every one of the fonts here. Probably don't need to merge this one. Just change all to one color like this or like that. Let's go for this. All right, then we can now minimize the entire thing. Control T to bring our transform. Then you add it here. All right. So like this. All right. But if you would observe, it's also a repetition. So the name repeats itself. So what we should have done even before merging the shapes was to have um deleted this ones and i can do that by just using the direct select tools to select these anchor points all right then hit delete to delete yes to delete the, that side of the work all right and i don't need their names anymore so i don't need this i don't need that and that and that right so delete then I only need that so I can then change this to probably yellow or white. Let's stick to this. And then probably use a, a lighter version like that. All right. Select all of this plus this. All of this. Right, then I just all right. So 
with this done we are we are done if you wanted to add more which is not necessary you could just do it once again go back to the front cover then you can copy this all right so with your hand on the alt key click drag move and drop all right let's drop it here all right and let's try and change the color to that all right yeah so this is what we have for the back beat all right that's what we have for the back beat we could if you wanted to add text depends on the kind of information you have depends all depends on the kind of information you have so we could make this like this take it this far all right let's increase it and then take it down here step down a little Anyway, so we don't need to waste time with this. So this is fine. All right, so let's just drag everything down. Try and center it. And that's the cover page. We are done. All right, so let's zoom out and see what we've done so far. All right, so we had this for the front page. We had this for the introductory page. We had this for the info page, or let's call it the announcement page. We have this for uh, to announce or advertise the people, guys who are playing the role. We have this for order of service. We have this for um, the biography, which can also be used for all the other attributes. We didn't want to waste time. You, we paid attention to putting things like this in quotes, scriptures or quotes or whatever it is. If the song, you can do that or him. And then a cursive form to just spice things up if necessary. Then we have this page that introduces us to the uh, photo gallery. So a very nice picture of the disease here. Then you can now do the photo gallery. If the, if the family have of the all the people have um, pictures in categories like children and a few siblings colleagues at work you can put them in categories so photo gallery children you know and then yes so this is an error let's delete this when you are done you have to go through your work and make sure everything is intact all right then we have the hymns we had the appreciation you could instead of using this phone we can use uh, we can also use the same font i mean and decide to stick to this font right here just shoot it to all uppercase like this all right and drop it here that's fine so that's about that let's undo and maintain what we had before all right so this fine then we have the back page okay so there we go this brings us to the end of today's tutorial i hope it was very helpful if it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond.